Hello everybody, this is just a short update for you uh, for bulk bill IVF patients uh, with regards to our treatment protocols and our success. We had a very important paper published in 2016 by the European Society of Human Reproduction Embryology. This is one of our peak bodies and the publication is Human Reproduction. In that review, it was made pretty clear that the advantages of the cycle we're doing with in the bulk bill clinic uh, would lead to a 0% chance of getting ovarian hyperstimulation, a greater pregnancy rate, a lower ectopic pregnancy rate, and a better obstetric outcome for your baby. In other words, on average, your baby's going to weigh 200 grams heavier than what otherwise might be the case. I also went to a recent meeting in Rome, Italy, and it was made pretty clear that not only are these other advantages uh, part of our protocol, but interestingly enough, your chances of miscarrying in the first trimester, in other words, up to about 13 weeks, is less than half of what it would be if you have a fresh transfer. In addition, pregnancy losses in the second trimester between 13 to 26 weeks is way less than 50% of what you would occur if you have a fresh embryo transfer. So we suppose that these uh, differences are something to do with the endometrium and that when a person is hyperstimulated and there is an exorbitant amount of estrogen about during the stimulation of the lining of the uterus, that this somehow or other impacts upon a woman's uh, subsequent chances of pregnancy and complications within pregnancy. So in summary, the protocol that we're using, although it might lead to a delay in your transfer by two and a half to three weeks by the time we transfer frozen blastocysts, um, the outcomes and the safety for the, for the patient is much greater than what might otherwise be the case. So when we do the egg collection approximately five to uh, six days after the uh, collection, in other words, when your embryos are about to be frozen, this is when you'll have another period and we can get on with the frozen cycle with whatever blastocysts have been frozen. So in actual fact, although there's two and a half weeks time lost, if you like, um, you're kept very busy keeping an eye on your embryos and then preparing for your embryo transfer. So a small sacrifice in terms of the time uh, that it takes to get to embryo transfer allows us to uh, minimise the risk of ovarian hyperstimulation, which has always been one of our biggest problems uh, with IVF. Uh, and we also increase your chances of pregnancy, decrease your chances of ectopic pregnancy, and have a better uh, outcome for your baby, which not only includes a heavier weight when baby's born, but also decreases the risk of miscarriage and decreases the risk of miscarriage and loss of a baby in the mid trimester. So this is the program we're offering with Bulk Bill IVF on a regular basis. Uh, of interest recently as well, the uptake of uh, local anaesthetic egg collections across the board has increased dramatically. Approximately 80% of our patients now, perhaps even 90% of our patients, prefer a local anaesthetic rather than a general anaesthetic. And I suspect the reason for this is that it's a very quick process. There's no faffing around in the hospital with admissions, paying the hospital money, no paying anaesthetist money because we don't use an anaesthetist. Uh, and the rest of your day is not taken up with recovering from an anaesthetic. In fact, a lot of women leave the clinic half an hour after their egg, half an hour to an hour after their egg collection, and they'll drive home or they'll go back to work or resume their normal activities. So the program that we're offering with Bulk Bill IVF is going along extremely well. Our pregnancy rates with the frozen embryos is in the order of 70% after we culture and freeze our blastocysts, uh, and things are going very well at the moment. So based on a global scientific uh, studies and based on our experience with our patients, uh, things are going brilliantly at the moment and I'd encourage you to uh, be in involved with our program. Cheers.